Who's enjoying XFC 58 so far? I mentioned before that the rest of the fights tonight, you can bet on with our partner Palmer Bet. And it looks like short odds for Luke Brinkworth on this one, but Dominic Simon can fight. This is gonna be good. Dominic Simon at 205. Luke Brinkworth coming in at $1.60. Bella. Are you ready for your next fight? The next fight is a featherweight fight. Three by three minute rounds. Introducing first, Dominique the Pink Panther, Simon. I love his entire thing. You know what I mean? He, he loves the process. He loves turning up in the sharp suit. You know what I mean? He, he loves the fan interaction. He, he's, he's just a celebrity in the making. He, he certainly is a showman, which is great to see. Uh, the Pink Panther, obviously rocking a pink suit. Any man confident enough to wear pink in public, especially at the Mansfield Tavern, you know is either super crazy or can fight. In this combination, we've got both. We have a extreme tactician in Dominic Simon, the Pink Panther. Making a slow walk. He's fighting out of uh, corporate box, training under Timmy Zock and Glenn Hodgins. Um, for those that don't know, Timmy Zock is one of the OGs, professional fighters out of Game Bread uh, when Brendan O'Reilly founded it back in whatever it was, a decade ago now. International fight experience, really good guy, excellent technician. And the headspace right there of Dominic Simon walking down the uh, the hallway there getting booed <laughs> by the uh, Brinkworth supporters. He turns and cheers and gives them a wave. And how good are the Havoc supporter shirts? Yeah, I tell you what, the, they the make some that great those gear. guys do is phenomenal. Certainly do make some great gear. So Dominic Simon, BJJ belt pink. <laughs> um, Isn't that like a female combative? No, no, I'm it's pretty sure <laughs> what that is is if you're a visitor and you forget your belt, you get a pink belt. <laughs> I just love how confident he is in his skill set and his ability. The ultimate professional. Yeah, we've got uh, the team from Sukasa behind us as well at the moment. One of the best nightclubs in Brisbane. Big supporters of Dominic Simon, after party Sukasa. And his opponent, Luke Brinkworth. And here we have Luke, the Pitbull Brinkworth, making his walk out. How good's the entry song? <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the 80s. I think that also matches the haircut and the full beard that uh, Brinky has. Oh, he's getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if he's fighting in stubbies. <laughs> I know it's wrong, but I almost want him to be growing speedos. <laughs> oh, he loves it. Have a look at him. I <laughs> love that training gear. <laughs> Great show, Nisu. This reminds me of back in... Um, Ben Wall's entrance stays out of game bread back in the day. So having a look at uh, Luke Brinkworth, obviously he's mentioned a couple of his uh, key training partners. So Dane Elchin, Lonnie Filimahala, Ryan Bishop. No Oren Palmley noted. <laughs> I wonder what's going on there. Obviously a little tension between Luke Brinkworth and Oren Palmley. Because Oren wanted the best mullet. That's it, yeah. <laughs> We've also got Christian Marino there as well. Uh, ultimate fanboy, rocking up in the same clothing, also missed from the list. So I wonder if he just wanted extra hard training sessions when he gets back. So as we mentioned, fighting out of game bread, originally from Toowoomba. Also notes not having any belt whatsoever at BJJ, but we know what to expect at Grappling Central. But we've seen We've seen Luke jump in, uh, Luke jump in the uh, cage before. Certainly got a very strong striking style. More of the brawler. 
He's just a thousand strikes a minute. That's his game plan most of the time. How many times can I hit you before this ref stops me? Yep. All right, I'm putting it out there. Everyone knows that Connor Birch is my favorite amateur. He's now moved to the pros. This is not only for the number one contender for the featherweight <laughs> belt, this is for the... Matt Walton favorite. This is for the Matt Walton favorite right now. So is this like, is this like our BMF? Yeah, I'm putting it on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Dominic Simon, he is loving it. <laughs> now this, this is the This fight is a featherweight fight, three by three minute rounds, B-class rules. Introducing first, in the blue corner. Weighing in at 67.9 kilos. With an amateur record of two wins, one loss. Fighting out of corporate boxing valley gym. Dominique the Pink Panther Simon. For both these gentlemen. And his opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 65.7 kilograms, holding an amateur record of three wins and one defeat, fighting out of Game Brad Academy. Give it up for Luke the Pitbull Brickwood. I wonder if there's a bit of mind games from Luke Brinkworth as well. You know, he's, he's playing a game. I think he's just a hilarious idiot. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's any more. I think this is just who he is. <laughs> and I wonder, I wonder in terms of Dominic Simon's head, like when does he switch from being friends again to now actually about to get into a fist fight? So, yes. yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dominic Simon missing weight, so he'll lose a point in this first round, and I believe in, in the, the second, second round as well. well. Yep. Here we go, boys. This is the this is the stage right now. I don't separate. like the pre-fight hug, I'll be honest. No. Punch on, boys. Here we go. Oh, in the calf already. Oh, that was quick. That was quick by Simon. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what we wanted. I'm not even sure to say. It's like, oh. not just, not just, uh, here's a few punches. Here's the kitchen oh. sink. Nice throw. They're throwing everything at each other. Good to see some good takedown to friends from Dominic. Big improvement. In saying that, when he was taken down last time, even with the quality of wrestler who he was fighting with, still wasn't was, able to finish him from the ground. he was active, wasn't he? He was constantly active from the bottom. So Ooh. that's... Has Dominic got, got a, a neck though? Kind of got a kill it yeah, yeah, he's pulled himself out in the wrong... in a uh, position that let the neck slip out. Oh, nice strike there. Nice long hey. legs. Sweep. Beautiful sweep. And I like how he's using his hips to keep Luke oh, that far is away. Solid. Nice defense there from Dominic. He's nice and relaxed. Oh, he's giving him his neck though. Let's see if Luke can. Uh... What's he gonna do? Hey! Oh! 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 oh my gosh! Head clash! Oh wow. my god! Wowzers! We saw that Whoa. defense earlier! Oh, the camera caught it! Holy moly, look at that defense. replay! Dominic Ooh, I have literally never seen a fight ended like that. I don't know how many thousands of fights I've watched before. I've seen people attempt it, I've never seen someone unconscious from that. Holy dooly. That was a brutal escape out of there. And you, you talk about the creativity in the striking. Let's talk about the creativity in the defense there when someone is sitting on your back like a turtle. And yeah. you have the audacity to throw something like that. Because that could have gone backwards. That could have oh, sucked the choke in completely. Yes, yes, definitely. And I really like this, that Dominic's walked over and make sure Luke's okay. 
Absolutely phenomenal skill set from both of them. That is, in regards to takedowns and defense and reversals. That is the definition of one thing can change an entire Holy fight. Holy shit. Because that was a very one-sided up to that point. Holy moly. That, Do we think it's a head clash or the head on the canvas? Head, I think it was canvas. A head clash. Head clash. Head clash. Uh, okay, I'm going head, head on the canvas. That's some Rampage Jackson style. Um, Here we go in the replay. He gets airborne, does he? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah head on the canvas. Head on the canvas because his, his head was back below the chest yeah. on the neck still. There was just so much talk that he threw within that. It's almost like a suplex with a guy on your back. He's still, uh, still he is, sick at the moment. He is that not is right, is he? Holy moly. <clears throat> and you're always expecting that one-shot knockout from a punch or a kick. We were, talking is, about, yeah. we were talking about how creative Dominic is. That is, I don't think if we had written things down all day how the fight would go, that would be a way that we put it down to. Unfortunately, it's the, uh, the softest part of the head, isn't it? So oh. It's the worst part to, to take a knock. That's obviously why you can't throw punches in the back of the head. Tell you what, look at the professional of that Dominic Simon there. Yeah, I don't know. Was it, uh, speaking of Dominic Simon now, mate, was it his head on the back of the canvas or did you clash heads as you went? I don't know if no, so it's back of his head. It looks like the canvas. Yeah. Yeah. His head. Yeah. Phenomenal fight, mate. Phenomenal. And what, we, we talk about professionalism within the amateur ranks. It goes to show that both these guys, doesn't matter what they did coming in, there's that handshake, the hug, there's so much respect between these two fighters. I don't know how long that fight went for, so less than three minutes, this was the first round. Oh, definitely. But about eight million things happened in that time. There was takedowns, there was reversals, there was leg kicks, there was punches. There was, there was a thousand punches. Yeah, yeah. You could send that fight to a uh, like our, our hype, our production team, yeah, and yeah. say, make a highlight out of this, and they would just return it with music over Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there literally wasn't a break at all, was there? No. no, no, not at all. I don't even know what to feel about that fight. It's, re it's such a crazy turn of events. And obviously, we all want Lukey Brinkworth to be all right, too. And as he's, he's, a, he's conscious, the crew's talking to him, but obviously not feeling quite right. Bit of a concussion. It's going to be disappointed, I think, more than anything else. Well, yeah, we spoke about this at the start. We spoke about the start around. I'll tell you what. We didn't know who wanted to win. If if I could... So I run a gym, as you guys know. If I could teach people to take a loss like Luke Brinkworth, I'd teach him every day. Oh, no one is more respectful. There's no... If I was better than you tomorrow, it's just... You won. Sweet. Congratulations. And that's how we'll be tonight. Both legendary human beings. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 28 seconds of round number one and winner by KO in the blue corner, Dominic Simon! Dominating, and he did this backflip thing. <laughs> yeah, he backflipped with me as a, a Yoda on his yeah. back. What a crazy sport! Oh my! It? it is why you watch it, though. Like, oh, it's, absolutely. It's hard. I think it's hard because as XFC athletes, we all love them, right? And then you see him get hurt, and you're like, oh, and that initial thing. But when that goes around, people are gonna love, love that that is a thing that can happen. We don't want it to happen, but man, amazing. It is. It's, it's when you leave on the night and when you, you're driving home with your mates and you talk about the stories and the shit that you saw. Mr. That's Simon, something that you're yeah, yeah. going to celebrate with your teammates. When you were training and you were visualising or perhaps watching footage of your opponent, thinking about ways you could win, how many times did that go through your mind? Almost every session. Like, every session, you know, because we know he's a baller, you know, um, he's going to put the pressure on, which is pretty much what he did. Um, so, we we're obviously training a lot for defense and trying to stay around. Um, most points, we, we knew that there would be a takedown on you know some point in the fight. Um, so we we're training for a lot of that defense. Didn't look my best, but you know we uh, we all train like we look good. Then we put it in here. And we all look clumsy, but 
We never like seeing injuries, but let's focus on the positive. Almost face down on the mat. You've lifted a guy nearly 70 kilos and completely transferred the weight onto his back. Can you tell us a bit about the training involved to have that kind of core strength? Well, um, this guy over here with the pink panther teddy bear was always training my squats and training my legs and everything was just a big, big up motion, you know, so doing a lot of trying, trying to get the power in the legs and everything. So, yeah, we're just slamming was another thing that was involved. Do you think you have more to prove? Not that tonight wasn't a statement, but for you and maybe your team, do you think there's more to show? Oh, absolutely. You know, um, I'm honest with everything. You know, I was a, a little bit heavier coming in, so more the mentality of uh, uh, coming into training all times, you know, when coach asks me to, not when I'm ready. Train harder, get the right weight on time, and, you know, yeah, come back here and do my thing. It's not difficult to find who's in support. You only have to look at the pink. Are there some people that you would like to thank tonight? I'll start with my coaches over here. You know, the reason why this one's got great hair is because of me. Um, this one too is coming on to him, but I just want to thank them for putting in all the time. Um, even when I do stress them out quite often. Um, I like to thank all the supporters out here, you know, Chris, Mark, other Mark, Trey, uh, Nick, you know. My beautiful partner over here, next to the one with the teddy. Um, her family, you know, all the supporters that have come out. Way over here. Uh, just, just everyone that's been there for me. So that's what I'd like to thank. You were the first to admit that it wasn't pretty, but it was effective. We can't see, can't wait to see what's in store for you next. Thank you, Dominique. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.